Okay, here we go. Welcome to Mega Man X. This is a really cool game. We've skipped a few Mega Man games since Mega Man 4. I believe was the, was the last one I played. But that's all right. There is some lore to know about this game, if you're interested. And I will, of course, be talking about just that. And uh, probably this episode. Did I say that right? Probably. I probably did not. Hey, let's get started. What? Well, isn't it supposed to say, to say Capcom there? So, there's an intro thing here. I should fast forward here. But basically, um, a dude named Dr. Kane. Oh, there he is. Um, he found this uh, pod. So this takes place like, I don't know, a hundred years after the classic Mega Man. So he found the pod with Mega Man X. And here are some specs. Okay, forget fast forwarding. So, some specs about Mega Man X. Um, this is not the same robot as classic Mega Man. I used to think that for the longest time. I was like, well, it's Super Nintendo graphics and they made him look cool. And uh, so they renamed him to Mega Man X. So, okay. X is the first of a new generation of robots which contain an innovative new feature the ability to think, feel, and make their own decisions. However, this ability could be very dangerous. If X were to break the first rule of robotics, our robot must never harm a human being. The results would be disastrous, and I fear that no force on Earth could stop him. Approximately 30 years will be required before we can safely confirm his reliability. Unfortunately, I will not live to see that day, nor do I have anyone to carry on my work. Therefore, I have decided to seal him in this capsule, which will test his internal system until his reliability has been confirmed. Please do not disturb the capsule until that time. X possesses great risks as well as great possibilities. I can only hope for the best. September 18th, 20XX. T light. Thomas light. Oh, damn it. That was him. Maybe I should have done the old man voice. Mega Man. It's not one word anymore. Two words. Mega Man X. So, this game is called Mega Man X, but not because this was, was the 10th the game. That's not it. Again, this is a new new robot. He kind of looks the same, but he's got a red crystal this time. It looks cooler. I have to admit, this guy looks way cooler than the classic Mega Man. Unfortunately, he looks less cool in in, in sequels. I mean, X2 and X3. Uh, our Super Nintendo games, they did make an X3 for PlayStation 1. But then an X4, which is exclusively PlayStation 1, and all, uh, onward, it kind of looks worse, in my opinion. So you have the charge. This time, unlike Mega Man 4, the, the half charge is stronger than the pellets. And then the full charge looks like that. So, um, what was I gonna say? Right, the name, Mega Man X. So the reason his name is Mega Man X, or X for short, people call him X, uh, is that in terms of math, X is a variable. Which means that X could be... Oh wow, a 1-up in, in the intro stage. That's weird. I don't think that's ever happened to me before. 
Um, X is a variable, which means that X could be anything. You've probably done math and had to solve X uh, at one point or a hundred. And what that means for this guy is that this guy has limitless potential. You remember the classic Mega Man, he had the ability to learn uh, attacks from from the, the other robots he killed. So this guy does the same, but in these games there are upgrades to it. You find capsules and he gets new abilities. And that kind of implies that he has the potential to become anything. He's not a, a robot that just does whatever he's programmed to and then that's it. So that's why he's called X. He can become literally anything. Literally, literally, literally. <laughs> Alright, we're almost done with the intro stage. This giant chip appears and as quickly as possible just destroy these two cars. So if the second one lives too long, a third car is gonna go come down. Now here's the first boss, and you don't get to see his life bar. And there's a reason for that. Okay, so uh, uh, as you saw, uh, you can climb walls in this game. Where are you? So that purple guy is in a giant mech suit or, or something. I don't know what they're called. So after he punches you enough times, he traps you in this electric cage thingy. You worthless piece of scrap metal. Did you think you could defeat me? Oh, what's that? Bam! And here's another interesting guy. He blew his arm off. That's pretty dope. I couldn't do damage to him at all. Now this is Mega Man's only line in this entire game. I guess I'm not powerful enough to defeat him. X, you shouldn't expect to defeat him. He is designed to be a war machine. Remember, you have not reached full power yet. If you use all the abilities you were designed with, you should become stronger. You may even become as powerful as I am. I'll scout ahead and collect as much information on Sigma's fortress as I can. Okay, Sigma is the final guy. Dr. Wily is dead, so is Thomas Light. Again, this takes place a few years after the classic Mega Man, and those guys were old dudes uh, during that time. So, and this guy, this guy is kind of the reverse uh, of Mega Man. He's red with a blue crystal. And Mega Man is blue with a red crystal. Uh, more on Zero later. His name is Zero, by the way. I'll meet up with you when you get there. See you later. X, I know you can do it. Bye bye. Okay, and the password looks different. So, eight bosses to choose from, as per the norm. Now we sh we start off with with this guy. His name is Chael Penguin. I'm gonna show you the order of this. That's. Like, there's stuff to collect in the game, right? And I will collect everything in the game. And doing the stages in the, in the order I do will only require you to go back to stages twice. You only need to go back to two stages to grab everything. Well, actually three, because there's a secret that I will be showing you. Ah, oh, damn it. But in order to collect the regular stuff, there, there are going to be some things. Um, this stage is one of them, where you can't grab everything 
until you have other abilities. So by doing these in, in the order I do, you only have to go back twice to find the regular stuff. And then there's a third one you can't get until you have everything. So there's no avoiding that. So another cool thing about this game is that clearing certain stages will affect other stages. And I'll talk about the stuff I know. I, I, I think I know everything about all the stages. I might be wrong about that, but whatever. So this is the reason why you want to start with this stage. This capsule is unavoidable. So you've... Uh, wait, what's the old man was? So you've come. X, I give you the ability to choose your own path in life. And I hope the world would allow you to choose a peaceful one. But now it seems that you are destined to fight. Because I thought the world might need a new champion. I have hidden capsules like this one. If you find and use them, you will be able to increase your powers. Beyond anything the world has ever known. <laughs> I'm really old. Step into this capsule and receive an acceleration system to boost your speed. Good luck, X. So the other capsules are hidden. There are three more to find in this game, and then the rest of the games have hidden capsules as well. This is the only one in the, I think, in the entire series that's uh, mandatory. So his legs look different. That wasn't me. He shows what every new ability does. So if you press A, he does it. He does a dash. It's not a slide this time. In the classic Mega Man games, you held down and press jump. Nothing happens if I do that, except for a regular jump. So if you press A, you dash. If you press forward twice, you dash. And that to me is way easier, because if I'm charging, I want to dash and jump. Uh, I accidentally hit the jump button all the time. Okay, I did it there, but... It's, it's it's way easier to just hit forward twice and then jump while you hold the charge button. Now, a charge charge like this one isn't affected by the dash, but these pellets, let's see here. One, two, three, oh, damn it. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight shots to kill him, right? But this guy, if I dash, one, two, three, ah, four. So these pellets become stronger when you shoot while dashing. I guess the, I guess it's because they travel faster. Oh look, we get, we get our own mech suit. Now up there, there's a secret we can't get yet. We'll see what that is later. Ah, a mech suit. And we destroyed it, like it was nothing. So we gotta get out of it. Got get out of it. Get, uh, we gotta get out of it. There. Can't use it anymore. Ah. Ooh. Ah. Ah. Damn it. Ah, oh, damn it! I keep messing up! Oh, another one up! Woohoo! And as per the norm, we get these doors before a boss. So here's the first guy! Kill Penguin! He's easy enough. So he creates ice penguins. Sometimes he does. Not that. That's not what I was thinking of. Usually when he creates those ice penguins, he jumps up to, to that hook in the middle of the roof there. I hope he does it at some point so you can see what that does. 
Okay, so when your bullets bounce, you gotta get out of the way. That's what that does. So as you can see, one shot removes one pellet from his health. But if I dash and shoot, two pellets. So it becomes twice as strong, which I believe is exactly what the half charge is. Oh damn it. I believe a full charge is exactly three pellets. So he's dead! Whoa! He's gotta explode for a couple of minutes. Well, not really. Bam! We did it! We beat the first boss! So, in this game, I think this started in Mega Man 6, I'm not sure. But, as, as in addition to just showing you the name of the of the weapon he shows you where it, what it does and in this game it's skippable everything is skippable so next up is the eagle so the only secret we've found so far isn't exactly a secret we got the leg up upgrade but from now on we gotta search for everything right everything is hidden And one of the things we can find in this stage is early here in the beginning, we ride this all the way up. And then we slide and jump. I mean dash and jump. That's a heart container. That's not what it's called. But it looks like a heart, right? And what it does, it's called heart something. Like if you look at look it up in game packs, it says heart something um you grab it we get an extra two pellets of, of health ah damn it every stage has one of those so eight of them makes 16 pellets or make 16 pellets uh and when when we have all of them our health bar is gonna be uh, as big as the bosses Here's another secret. We wait for him to come down. Then ah. we wait. We ride this guy up. Destroy the window. Go through. Kill this guy. When he dies, this happens, which is pretty damn awesome. So what that was is us. Uh, okay, they're called sub tanks. They were kind of like E tanks. But what you do is you fill them up your, yourself. So when I find health recoveries and I grab them when my health is full, that health is going to go to the sub tank instead. Now this guy is annoying because you kill one and he appears on the next platform, right? If I don't kill him, I can just jump to the next platform. I don't know why he appeared on the one after that. He shouldn't. Well, whatever. Yeah, you see? Takes a while for him to appear again. And behind this... Oh yeah, you can slide and jump. If you press both both buttons at the same time. The, the jump and the slide button. You can, you can slide jump from a wall. Oops. Okay, here's the third secret. So this game has, I mean, this game, this stage has three secrets. Now you need the the, the the dash to do it. You can't get up there without without it. So you destroy these. And look, it's another capsule. This capsule contains an enhancement for your helmet. Which will allow you to break some ceilings with a headbutt. So you jump in and look at his helmet now. And then once again he shows you what that does. I'm not in control here. 
But now I am, so I can just try it out. At least some blocks for you to test it with. So that's upgrade number two for the suit. So uh, um, again, this stage has three secrets. And there are, uh, I think, a couple of stages that only have the, the heart tank. Is that what it's called? I think it's heart tank, actually. Whoa! Oh, damn it. They didn't do it in time. If he grabs you, you only need to charge half shots and then fire to get rid of him. Bam! Ah! Okay, so normally you go down here, through that door, and then land on the, on a platform. But there's a secret if you go down this way. Some help. And the, the blue one was weapon recovery. And then you can just jump to the platform from, from there. So this is a ship that's flying upwards. Okay, so when he flaps his wings, you can't run to catch up. You gotta slide. And when he does that, you gotta jump out of the way. Now there is time to charge it and then fire. As you see right there. And it does have another attack too. The most annoying attack. He hasn't done it yet. There's two more attacks, by the way. This is the annoying one. If you let that egg hatch. Okay, that's the second one. Uh, when you let the egg hatch, these four birds are gonna fly at you. Yay! Okay, so the ship is still going upwards, right? But take a look at this. Um, it's important for, for later. Now it's going down, which means that eventually it's gonna crash. I don't know why it starts to crash uh, after you beat the guy. Obviously it was in control of it somehow. Okay, so once again, you can skip this if you want. We saw what it did when he shot shot the, 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 the tornado. Something tornado, it's called something like that. Hey, that worked out great. The footage didn't, didn't freeze or anything, so we're off to a good start. So in the next episode, I'll tell you more about the lore and why it's like why why some stages affect other stages. You'll get to see that in the next episode. So be on the lookout for that. If you haven't subscribed, I suggest you do it if you're interested in the game. And click the bell, because if you choose to be notified about all the episodes you're gonna get notified when the next episode comes up all right so i'll see you next week